I feel like the only appropriate intro to this movie is You Are What You Eat. Welcome back to 31 Days of Halloween. Today we are going to be talking about a Chinese film called Dumplings. So I had not realized that this was an older movie. Um, I thought I had seen it come out recently. Um, but it is actually a an older movie. It's part of, um, if you look for it on um, some streaming services, or I tried getting it from the library, but I couldn't find it there by itself, it's part of a group of movie called The Extremes. Um, and I'm kind of interested to see what these other two movies are um, after watching Dumpling. So I've never seen any Chinese films. So I've seen a lot of Japanese, I've seen a lot of Korean, um, but I've never seen anything that's come straight from China. Um, and it was very interesting to see the differences in how the characters are and the, the filming styles and stuff. And obviously I need to see a lot more to really see more differences. Um, but at first I thought this film was Korean and then when I heard them talking and I saw the, the characters on the screen from where they're, they're doing the characters uh, or they're doing the actors names, I'm like, this looks like it's in, th those aren't Korean characters. They're not speaking in Korean. That doesn't sound like Korean. Then I realized it was Chinese. So I need to see a lot more Chinese films to really figure this out. But, um, this definitely draws on a lot of I think issues that are specific to China especially with their one child policy um so the premise of the movie is that these it seems like it's mostly women are looking to keep themselves young by eating special dumplings and this one woman has the best dumplings for keeping you young and when you get into the movie, you, you obviously know that the dumplings are made with something weird. And based on, you know, like what would be the most taboo thing for a person to eat in order to stay young, the obvious answer is people. Like you, you don't get much more taboo than that, I think, except for this movie does get more taboo than that. Um... You find out fairly, so I really don't consider this a spoiler because you find out fairly quickly um, what this other thing is, but the movie does kind of like lead you along a little bit, like waiting for you to kind of figure it out. And the characters all know like what they're eating. And the woman who you followed, I forget what her name is, um, she's eating the dumplings or she's trying to eat the dumplings the first time she spits it out. And the woman who makes the dumplings is like, stop being such a baby. You want to look young forever, don't you? Um, and she's like, look at me. I'm the poster child for my own recipe. You wouldn't even be able to guess how old I am. And the other woman guesses that she's in her 30s and she just laughs uh, because she's a lot older than 30. Um, so eventually the characters, like, they kind of get over this issue of what they're eating. And it's rather disturbing because you, you think that you can't get more disturbing than eating people. But then you find out that it's not just people that are being eaten. It's aborted fetuses that this woman is mixing into the dumplings. Um, and again, that's not really a spoiler because you, you find that out fairly early in the movie. And then it progresses with that um idea and just makes it more and more disturbing as you go along like they show her chopping up the aborted fetuses and at one point the woman's like I, I need your most potent stuff and the woman's like oh you need to have at least a five month old fetus to do that and it's like oh oh my god like is she actually gonna go <laughs> a five month old aborted fetus because at that point it, it, it looks basically like a human um so the movie does get really really disturbing in those aspects because they do show her chopping up the fetuses and they don't really look like people the ones that she's originally chopping up 
but it does get worse. So this movie is clearly a horror movie, um, you know, because not only is it playing on, I guess, like fears of aging, but what we'll do to stay young. Um, I know people, like especially in America, at whatever cream or concoction or therapy or whatever it is to keep you young, people will slather it all over their skin and they'll try anything, any drink or diet or fad. But like, would you go as far as to eat a human fetus? I certainly would not. <laughs> I don't even buy it to half this other stuff. Um, but it's, it's interesting that you know, there probably aren't people who would stop at that point. There probably are people who would do what this woman uh, wanted and, you know, eat the fetuses and the dumplings and want the five-month-old fetus so that she could stay young and keep her husband interested in her. And that's another aspect of this, the whole idea, like, what women do to keep a man's attention. Because the primary characters in this movie are female, um, there's one other male character and he basically just serves, this woman's wife, and he basically just serves as the focal point for why she's doing what she's doing. He's not relevant really in any other aspect of the movie. Um, so like I said, it's really disturbing. Um, not, not because like there's scary stuff or... I don't, I, won't, I don't want to say because it's not particularly gory, because I feel like chopping up fake fetuses is pretty gory, because obviously it's not real. None of the gore movies is usually real. Um, but it, it, it is disturbing to think that people would, and potentially do, go to these lengths, because China's one-child policy, I know they've relaxed it recently, I think you're allowed to have two now. Um, or, or they may have even relaxed it further. I don't remember where they were at with that. But I'm sure that that policy has led to a lot of abortions. And, you know, what do they do with medical waste? Usually medical waste just goes to some facility and they burn it or they dispose of it properly so that it's not, like, infecting other people or getting into any of, like, our cyst like water systems and stuff like that. So, like, what does China do with all these aborted fetuses? Um, do people use this as an opportunity to steal them and use them for their own purposes? I mean, sell them for stem cells. Maybe not selling them to eat, but selling them for stem cells or for research and stuff like that. So that part of it is really disturbing. Um, and then just going into what would someone do to stay young and keep the attention of their spouse and, you know, what kind of person facilitates this by not I don't think she doesn't steal them by buying these fetuses and chopping them up to make for somebody it's just it is a very disturbing roller coaster ride of crazy um and there are some spoilers that I'm going to talk about because the ending is is a little wild um but first, the rating. So me and my friend both rated this movie a 6, which is in line with the other scores. So the critics didn't review this on IMDb. Uh, I'm sorry, on Rotten Tomatoes. And I'm not sure if it's just they, didn't, they decided not to watch it or they weren't able to access it. I'm not sure what the reason was. Um, but on IMDb, it got like a 6.7. And on Rotten Tomatoes, it got a 68. So it's pretty in line with what me and my friend decided to do. Um, and I gave it a six because I, it kept my interest, but it was a little slow at points, um, and a little repetitive with how often this woman comes back. And I guess it could just be to reiterate, like, she's doing this out of desperation. She's really trying to keep her husband, you know, she has to keep doing, like, these are things that we do over and over and over again, like, to keep ourselves young and not necessarily eating children, but, um you know, the the behaviors of skin products and stuff. And actually, saying eating children, I mean, the, the witch in, there is, a, a, I guess, a history of this in American um, literature or folklore as well, because we have the witch who 
wanted to kill Hansel and Gretel. I don't remember if that was necessarily so that she could look pretty or if it was just a tale for bad children to scare them into good behavior. Um, but I, I'm sure there's some kind of tale. Because then you also had Catherine, um, the, the lady in Europe who would kill people and bathe in their blood. And then you have stories about cannibals saying that babies taste best because they're more tender. And all this kind of weird like little factual random stuff um so i gave it the six because it was a little slow it was really creepy it did make me think afterwards um but it's not necessarily a movie i would rewatch. um maybe because of some of the disturbing factors uh, but it is definitely not something that I've seen in American cinema before. The kind of lengths that they went to um, to disturb you. And I'm, I'm curious to watch more Chinese film to see, is this something that like they carry through? Are their films all like this disturbing? Or was it just this specific film? Kind of like how we have our really, spe really um, specifically disturbing films like Hostel. Um, but most of our horror really isn't like that level of gory disturbing. So that is it for the non-spoiler section of this movie. So if you haven't seen it and you are interested in seeing it because there are some interesting twists towards the end um, with what happens with this woman as she continues to eat these unborn babies, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you in the next video. Because we are getting into spoilers. I really gotta stop doing that. Um, so, as she eats the babies, weird things start happening to her. And it's unclear if this stuff is like all in her head. Or if it's something that will actually happen. Um, she starts to like get this weird rash. Like she first notices it on the back of her neck. And then like she gets it on her wrists and she notices it like on her shoulders and she gets this weird fishy smell. So she's sitting down to a dinner party with her friends and they're all talking about how young she looks and what's her secret and this and that. And she goes to sit down and then all, all of a sudden everybody's like, oh, what's that weird smell? Is it the fish? Is it the beef? Is it the chicken? And it's kind of funny because the one woman sitting next to her keeps leaning over and like sniffing her and she's just like, stop it. What are you doing? It's not me. So she calls up the woman who gives her the dumplings and is like, what are you feeding me? It's doing all these crazy things to me. Fix it. And the woman's like, stop being ridiculous. I eat that all the time because she, she does manage to procure a five month old baby. And it is actually really disturbing because like she gets it from a girl who got pregnant from her father and like she induces a, um, a delivery um and then the baby comes out and like it's dead and it's just you see her pick it up um as she's about to start chopping it up into pieces and it's it's really disturbing um but she's like you know i eat this all the time and i never have a problem with it you're just overreacting stop being crazy so it, it is kind of a question like is it this woman's like um conscience starting to get the better of her because now it's not just like these little like two inch long dead fetuses that she's eating. Like she, she ate a five month old fetus. So she's like freaking out and maybe starting to psychosomaticize these symptoms that she's having of like being smelling like fish and getting this rash. So that was like really disturbing there. And then it continues to the point where she's like desperate for this stuff and the woman has stopped giving it to her because now she's banging this other woman's husband. Like what, what is this movie? So now the woman who was, who's our basic, our main character goes and finds, goes to a gynecologist's office, discovers another woman that her husband was banging who is now pregnant. And she's like, yeah, give me your fetus when it turns five months old. I want it now. <laughs> the other woman's like, ew, why? But I, I guess it doesn't matter because by the end of it, she is going to be induced into labor. And this other woman's like, 
Yeah, explaining like how to do it so that the baby's meat isn't poison. Like talking about it like it's just an animal. And the movie ends with this woman chopping up the five month old fetus. And it is just the, the look in her eyes and the way that it's kind of like artistically done at the end. It was it was really something else to behold. It was rather disturbing and you know I I guess I'd recommend this movie. Um, it's if, if if you can handle like that sort of thing. But wow, <laughs> what a ride. So that is it for dumplings. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And make sure to watch what you eat. Bye.